example, okay, is the first point. Now, common center is O. Field due to the first point is B. And magnetic field due to the second point is also B. Given in the problem. Since here two fields are perpendicular to each other, therefore, the resulting term of these two field is BR. BR is called resulting of the two fields. So here two fields are perpendicular to each other. Angle will be okay. Uh, these two field is 90 degree. Next find out the resultant magnetic field here. You know the formula. The resulting magnetic field is given by square root of B1 square plus B2 square plus 2 B1 B2 into cos theta. This theta 90 degree here. Therefore, now resulting magnetic field is simply equal to okay, B1 square plus B2 square. But magnetic field due to both the coil remains same. B square plus B square. So, is equal to square root of 2 into B square. Now, it is equal to root 2 into B. Okay, B square. Now, resultant magnetic field is root 2 into B for option B is correct. Option B. Next question. Particles carry positive charge travel from sky towards the earth. On entering the earth magnetic, magnetic field, they get deflected towards the options are north, east, west and south. Now, so here to find out the okay, direction let us apply right hand form rule. According to the right hand form rule, so here the fingers pointing the direction of the magnetic field and normal to the form gives the direction of the force, thumb pointing the direction of the current. Okay. So therefore, now particle, positively charged particles are deflected towards the east. Okay, deflected towards east. So, option B is that. Therefore, the magnetic field of this okay, second segment is B2 
2 into r so semicircle the magnetic field at o due to the semicircle bd is 1 by 2 times mu not i by 2r now it is mu not into i by 4 into r next find out the direction since the current is in the anti clockwise direction therefore according to the okay rule the field is the field is perpendicular to the plane and directed the outwards the field is perpendicular to the plane and directed outwards okay for anti clockwise current the magnetic field is perpendicular to the plane and okay directed outwards now field due to the second segment bd next similarly okay again find out the magnetic field to the third segment d at o okay since in this case o lies at one end of the current carrying conductor therefore the magnetic field due to the third segment d is say it is b3 b3 is equal to mu naught into i by 4 pi into r ok mu naught i magnetic field at one end of the current carrying conductor is mu naught i by 4 pi into r next again find out the direction of magnetic field ok according to the rule so the field is Again perpendicular to the plane of the board directed the outwards. First segment 0, second segment is okay, mu naught i by 4 r, third segment mu naught i divided by 4 pi into r. Okay, look at the direction here. So direction is same. So as a result of this, the resultant magnetic field is given by B1 plus B2 plus B3 ok B3 B10 so B2 is mu naught into I by 4 into R plus again mu naught into I by 4 pi into R look at the given options mu naught I by 4 R plus mu naught I by 4 pi R mu naught I by 4 R plus mu naught I by 2 pi R but 4 pi R is there look at the third option so third option is correct mu naught I by 4 R plus mu naught I by 4 pi 